What's up guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the superficial fascia and the deep fascia. Today, we shall dig deeper, no pun intended, and talk about the internal fascia. Look at your carotid sheath or your femoral sheath. Look at your pericardium. How about the pelvic ligaments that keep the ovary in place, called ovarian ligament? What's that? Internal fascia. This is my anatomy playlist. From superficial to deep, we have skin, and then deeper is the fascia. The skin is made of epidermis and dermis. The fascia is made of superficial fascia, and then deeper, deep fascia. And then if you go even deeper, internal fascia. Epidermis, then dermis, then superficial fascia, also known as hypodermis, and deep fascia, which can surround muscles, called fascia musculorum, or can invest viscera, called fascia visceralis. This is the internal fascia. What is it made of? It's made of connective tissue. How many types of tissue do you have in your body? Four. Epithelium, connective tissue, muscle tissue, nerve tissue. Let me tell you about the connective tissue. I provide support, I give a framework. Unlike the epithelium, which forms the parenchyma, I, the connective tissue, form the stroma that supports. Without my support, the epithelium is nothing. I also support your internal organs so that if I flip you upside down, your stomach will not fall into your pelvis. We talked about the superficial fascia before. Sometimes it's very thin with no fat. Sometimes it's thick and rich in fat. And in other instances, it's very dense. Deeper we have the deep fascia, such as the interosseous membrane, such as the aponeuroses, such as the retinaculae, flexor retinaculum, extensor retinaculum, etc. Deep fascia will also make the septa that divide your thigh into an anterior compartment, a medial compartment, and a posterior compartment. Next we have the internal fascia, which means we went even deeper. What is it made of? Connective. Your internal fascia will line your body cavities. It also extends between different organs, such as between the stomach and the liver, for example, between different loops of the intestine, between an organ and the abdominal wall, etc. Examples of internal fascia are numerous, including the fibrous pericardium surrounding your heart, the omentum in your belly, the femoral sheath in your thigh, which contains femoral artery and vein and others, and such as the pelvic ligaments. For example, this ovarian ligament connects the ovary to the uterus. There is another ligament called the round ligament of the uterus, and there is this lovely broad ligament and gazillion other ligaments. If fluid accumulates here, we call this pericardial effusion. Too much fluid and you get a disease known as cardiac tamponade. You can learn more about cardiac tamponade and other conditions like tension pneumothorax by downloading my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense.